Okay, in this particular area of the combine, uh, one of the things I want to talk about is the electrical system or charging system, if you want to call it. Uh, a couple things to kind of be uh, warned about a little bit is uh, batteries have a tendency of discharging, whatever. Battery goes dead, you need to replace it, whatever. There is a decal on the side over here. Pay attention to the decal. Okay, so a couple of nice things to know about this is first of all, it'll tell you if you're just gonna boost the combine, you can go and use the booster post that you have on the sides over here. But if you're gonna charge the battery for an extended period of time, it tells you on the decal to remove the cover off the top because there's fumes that are actually coming off the batteries as it's charging and there's potential for accidents to happen. So remove the cover, preferably charge the batteries from the top, and preferably charge the battery independent of each other. There's two 12 volt batteries in there. The, the electrical system is a 12 volt uh, electrical system, but the starting circuit is a 24 volts system. So what happens is when you start cranking, it'll combine the two 12 volts into 24 volts. And that gets done by this module that's located right here underneath this shield. That module looks just like the one that I got in my hand right here. So inside here, it'll convert from 12 volts to 24 volts for cranking. Once it's done cranking and the engine starts, it reconverts back to a 12 volt system. So, batteries are dead in the morning. You show up, you want to boost it. So you go and you hook up your booster cable. Pickup truck comes up, you hook them up, and you accidentally hook them up backwards or whatever. Things can happen. There is fuse inside here. This is one of the fuse right there. I got my finger on it. It's a metal strip. And if you burn one of those metal strips off, what will happen is it will not crank. It'll just make a ratcheting noise. And just like I call it a rattlesnake noise, and you'll never get it started because it will not allow you to crank. So as soon as you hear the rattlesnake, just go after this guy, look at these. If you burnt out that fuse, you need to put another one in, okay? Now, that's okay for the 250 series, that's okay for the 240 series, but some of the 230 series, we had a different system on there. It had what we refer to as a trickle charger. This box assembly is not in this location. So if you don't have this box, that means you've got the previous system or the interim system and it had a trickle charger located underneath the clean grain uh, vertical logger, okay, up in that area. There's some modules in there that was doing the charging. That system does not charge as fast as this particular system. So you need to run quite a bit. So what I'm trying to get at is if you, you're in the yard, you start the combine probably 10 times without going to the field on the same day there's a possibility that the second battery is gonna be discharged too much and then you're not gonna be able to, to get it started because the voltage is gonna be below 11.4 volts. It'll crank, but it will not start, okay? So I strongly recommend before you start the season, take the batteries out of the combine, charge the batteries, fully charge both batteries, put them back in the combine. And then you start the season with a fully charged system and life is good from there on, okay? So that's tidbits on the uh, charging and electrical system, and that might alleviate a lot of issues in the field. So make sure you start with new batteries, fresh batteries, fully charged batteries, okay? All right, on to the next section.